Hello everyone. Welcome to Astronautics for Exploit. In this video, I'll be going over asteroids and its formation, uses of asteroid, asteroid versus comet versus meteoroid, asteroid categorization, past, present and future asteroid missions. The scientist interest in asteroids is mainly due to their status as the remnants debris from the inner solar system formation process. About 4.6 billion years ago, a big cloud of gas and dust collapsed and most of the material fell to the center of the cloud and formed what is known as the sun. And this is shown according to research. Some of the condensing dust in the cloud became planets. The objects in the asteroid bed never had a chance to be incorporated into planets. An asteroid is a minor planet of the inner solar system, including those co-orbital with Jupiter. An asteroid is a small and rocky leftover object from the formation of solar system that obey the sun like planets. Due to large gravitational perturbations by Jupiter, accretion of plat planetesimals into planets is prevented. Asteroids with a diameter of 100 meters are rubble piles which are formed through accumulation of debris after collisions between asteroids. Asteroid material is thinly distributed and numerous unmanned spacecraft have traversed it without incident. Larger asteroids are referred to as planetoids. And four most massive asteroids are Ceres, Pallas, Vesta, and Aegea. The first asteroid to be discovered in 1801 was Ceres and it was originally thought to be a new planet. Most of the asteroids are found in the main asteroid belt, a region between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Some asteroids are found in the orbital part of planets. Jupiter prevented any planetary bodies from forming in the gap between Mars and Jupiter causing the small objects that were there to collide with each other and fragment into the asteroids. These pictures show asteroids. There are a variety of uses for asteroids. Asteroids can be used as source of hydrocarbons, source of precious metals, construction of large spaceships for space manufacturing and construction, construction of a solar seed to protect Earth, construction of solar power satellite for Earth, source of water and propellants for spaceships, serve as materials for constructing space habitats, construction of factories and cities in various orbits, and source of materials that may be rare or exhausted on Earth. Asteroid is mainly composed of mineral, rock, or metal. An object larger than a meteoroid that orbits the sun. Asteroid has a diameter greater than one meter. And historically, objects larger, larger than 10 meters across are called asteroids. Asteroid is formed closer to the sun, preventing the development of cometary ice contains traces of amino acids and other organic compounds. Asteroids become darker and redder with age due to space weathering. Comet. Comet is a body of ice, rock, and dust that can be several miles in diameter and obeys the sun. Debris from comets is the source of many meteoroids. Meteoroid. 
is a small rocky or metal object which is usually between the size of a grain of sand or a boulder that obeys the sun. Originates from a comet or asteroid material and has diameter which ranges between 10 micrometers and 1 meter in size. Meteor, a meteorite that enters the Earth's atmosphere and vaporizes, is referred to as meteor. It also refers to as shooting star. A meteor that is Earth without burning up in the atmosphere is referred to as meteorite. A collection of meteors, visible when Earth passes through a trail of debris left by a comet, is referred to as meteor sour. Asteroid categorization. Asteroids are categorized based on their position in the solar system. And the different categories are main bed asteroids, Jupiter Trojan's asteroids, and near Earth asteroids. Asteroid bed. Asteroid bed is a torus shaped region in the solar system. Majority of known asteroids orbit within the main asteroid belt between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. Most asteroids within the asteroid belt have orbital eccentricities of less than 0.4 and an inclination of less than 30 degrees. The orbital distribution of the asteroids reaches a maximum at an eccentricity of around 0.07 and an inclination below 4 degrees. A typical asteroid has a relatively circular orbit and lies near the plane of the ecliptic. Some asteroid orbits can be highly eccentric or travel well outside the ecliptic plane. Asteroid bed contains between 1.1 and 1.9 million asteroids, larger than 1 km in diameter. They have many sizes but much smaller than planets and they are also called minor planets. Ceres, which is the only object in the asteroid belt large enough to be a dwarf planet, is about 950 kilometers in diameter. Vesta, Pallas, and Aegea, half mean diameters of less than 600 kilometers. About half the mass of the belt is contained in the four largest asteroids, Ceres, Vesta, Pallas, and Aegea. The total mass of the asteroid belt is approximately 4% that of the moon. The largest object within the asteroid belt is the dwarf planet Ceres, and the total mass of the asteroid belt is significant, significantly less than Pluto's, and approximately twice that of Pluto's moon Charon. For the first time, the detection of water vapor on Ceres was reported on 22nd January 2014 by the ESA scientist. There are various observations given by Johannes Kepler's Giuseppe Piazzi. Johannes Kepler in, my, in 1596, when he was analyzing Tycho Brahe's data, he thought that there was too large a gap between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The irregularities in the orbits of Mars and Jupiter were later explained using the gravity from the asteroids. Giuseppe Piazzi On January 1st, 1801, Giuseppe Piazzi discovered Ceres, which is the largest object in the asteroid belt. Ceres was known as its planet, but later reclassified as an asteroid and from 2006 as a dwarf planet. These pictures show solar system, the asteroid belt, and the asteroids in between the Mars and Jupiter. Asteroid belt exploration. There have been a lot of exploration of asteroid belt. Pioneer 10, a space probe launched in 1972 
that completed the first mission to the planet Jupiter. The first to achieve the escape velocity needed to leave the solar system. It entered asteroid belt region on 16 July 1972 and was forced spacecraft to traverse the asteroid belt. Pioneer 11 is a robotic space probe which was launched by NASA on April 6, 1973 to study the asteroid belt, the environment around Jupiter and Saturn, solar winds and cosmic rays. It was the first probe to encounter Saturn, which is the second to fly through the asteroid belt and the second to fly by Jupiter. Pioneer 11 was also the second to achieve an escape velocity allowing it to leave the solar system. Galileo, robotic space probe that studied the planet Jupiter and its moons as well as several other solar system bodies. It imaged asteroid 951 Gaspar in 1991 and 243 Ida in 1993. Trojan asteroids are small celestial bodies that share orbit with a larger planet or moon. Trojan locations, orbits of planets Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune. A large number of Trojans are found in Jupiter and they are therefore referred to as Jupiter Trojans. They are located near Jupiter's Lagrange points, 60 degrees ahead and 60 degrees behind Jupiter in its orbit. There are many more in the leading Lagrange point L4 than in the trailing one. This picture shows Trojan asteroids and their location in the solar system. Near Earth asteroids. Near Earth objects are carefully monitored and tracked. Arrangements are made in place to destroy or defeat any potentially threatening objects that may enter Earth's atmosphere in the future and cause a lot of damage. Asteroids that cross Earth's orbital paths are referred to as Earth crosses. Non-Earth asteroids are about 14,464 near-Earth asteroids. Near-Earth asteroids over 1 km in diameter are about 900 to 1,000 in number. These pictures show near-Earth asteroids. Asteroid 2019 OK, highly elliptical orbit, and asteroid 2010 WC9, which came within 126,490 miles of Earth on May 15, 2018. This picture shows the solar system which contains the asteroid belt, the near Earth objects, and the uh, planets. Past, present, and future asteroid missions. There have been a lot of missions to the asteroid, and some of them are highlighted below. Past and present missions. Galileo. Galileo was launched on October 18, 1989, and it completed the first flyby and imaging of asteroids Gaspar and Ida. The Near Earth Asteroid Index for Shoemaker was launched on February 17, 1986. It was the first spacecraft to orbit an asteroid and to land on it. On February 12, 2001, near Touched down on Eros. Cassini was launched on October 15, 1997. NASA assigned mission to Saturn through the asteroid bed. On January 23, 2000, Cassini performed a flyby of the asteroid 2685 Masoski. Deep Space One was launched on 24 October 1998. 
it's kind of a flat of asteroid 9969 Brazil. Genesis. Genesis was NASA Discovery Solar Wind Sample Return Mission. It was launched in August 2001. Rosetta was ESA Comet Mission, flew by asteroids, which flew by asteroids Stings and Lutetia. It was launched on March 2, 2004. Dawn was NASA orbital of asteroids Ceres and Vesta. It was launched in September 2007. China 2 was Chinese unmanned lunar probe launched on October 1, 2010. And on December 13, 2012, it flew within 3.2 kilometers of the asteroid 4179. Ayabusa 2 was JASA's sample return mission to asteroid Rugu. It was launched in December 2014. Osiris Rice was a sample return mission to asteroid Bennu and it was launched on September 8, 2016. Future missions HERA is an European Space Agency mission to visit the asteroid Didymos and its moon Dimorphos. It is to be launched in 2024. Psyche is an orbiting mission to main bait asteroid 16 Zyke and it is to be launched in 2022. Near Scout is a flyby CubeSat mission to near Earth asteroids and is to be launched in 2021. Lucy is a flyby mission to multiple Trojan asteroids and is to be launched in 2021. Double Asteroid Direction Test that it's a kinetic impact test mission to asteroids Didymos and Dimorphos and to be launched in 2021. For more information, contact Astronauts for Exploit. Thank you.